Hello everybody, hope you're all doing fantastically well. We are back here with the Rumor Mill, your evening edition. It is Connor, and we're back here with a pre-recorded video. We've got Patreon coming tomorrow, everybody, where we're discussing on Generation Leeds. We're going to be discussing the press conference. We're going to be discussing everything Leeds United rumours. And yeah, it's well worth it. A conversation between me and Dad is a very different conversation between me and Gabe and myself and Brownlee. Myself and Brown, it's something really exciting. will be coming soon as well. Hopefully, if we can get a few irons in the fire, which I'm working on right now, where, yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be a good little combination between me and, and Sir Brown. So, yeah, make sure you head on over to the Patreon because I think it's going to be released there first. So, it's well worth being part of the clan over there. Not only that, everybody, but you can become part of the YouTube membership sphere. Make sure you do so. Um, you can join below just by the join button. You can also make a one-off donation if you want to uh, contribute to the channel. Now, done a bit of follow-up work today, as I said to you guys that I would at the start, utilising my contact book, <laughs> and I've tried to, you know, get a little bit of, of, of further additional information on maybe players and, and you know, when we're looking at additional bits when it comes to, uh, you know, individuals potentially uh, signing for the club and all this sort of good stuff. So let's get into that right now. So Amad Diallo, Leeds United have been heavily rumoured with him with potentially... The departure of Willing Yonso looking maybe imminent, according to some journalists. Now, from what I understand, um, after speaking to um, uh, Chris Beasley at the Echo, Everton are after it. But after speaking to a journalist today on the West Ham side, West Ham are very interested in him, dependent on the condition of Lucas Paqueta and whether or not they are able, and I've mentioned this before, to sell Saeed Ben Rama, which West Ham are actively looking at doing that. I all I also asked said person about Ben Johnson, obviously following up those links, and I just wanted to get a little bit of background that apparently since his injury he hasn't really been the same player. Now Ben can play left, he can play on the right, but according to uh, this individual that I spoke to, it would be well in the interest of West Ham United because Ben's out of contract in the summer months, and well in the interest of Leeds United to get this deal done right now. Why, do you say? I know all of you guys are probably thinking, well, Connor, why is it in Leeds United's, Leeds United's sort of handbook to get this one done? Well, it's, it's, it's definitely in the Leeds United's handbook because it's sort of, it, it flows into the same remit as Borla Barisic. It flows into the same remit as someone like Joe Rodon, where in the summer months, yes, we're not talking about contract when it comes to Joe Rodon, but when it comes to the summer months, there are going to be offers in for these individuals. Ben Johnson is one of those where apparently there are going to be a, a host of offers in for him in the summer. Now, is it of the player's interest, I hear you ask? Well, it, it could be. They could get a very, very nice, lucrative offer if they just wait until that summer months because clubs will come in because there isn't a fee to play. Uh, to pay, I should say. So where is the guarantee here? Well, if Leeds United go in, put a fee in, and are able to sign Ben Johnson on, definitely a cup fee, and um, with six months left on his deal, they take away all of that noise. They take away all of the noise, and and, and that is something that will follow us with, with Joe Rodon. Um, Bona Barisic as well. Someone uh, yeah, spoke to all, on that side of things uh, as well. With regards to Bona Barisic, he thinks uh, Leeds have interest there, but he doesn't expect that one to move whatsoever. Um, he expects Borna Barisic to be waiting until uh, the summer months. Um, and then he can do exactly what I've just spoken about to you guys in terms of picking the best bunch, uh, the best of the bunch when it comes to a signing. So interesting that. And as I mentioned previously as well, uh, with Ahmad Diallo, it doesn't look like... Um, According to uh, Dom Shaw, and the, I mentioned the people who were all okay with me mentioning them, Dom Shaw, Gray and Bailey, and uh, Sean McCormack, they, they are all uh, saying to me today that apparently um, there is a likelihood that if he is to choose someone, it is going to be Middlesbrough, but there is also a severe, li a severe likelihood that Ahmed Diallo doesn't move this window. So... Done a little bit of following uh, following up when it comes to Ben Davis and um, Ben Davis and uh, Sessegnon as well. Brian Sessegnon at Tottenham Hotspur. And I've asked as well about Joe Rodon. That will likely, hopefully, if I hear back, uh, be on the rumour mill as of tomorrow, everybody. But yeah, interesting saga there when it comes to Ben Johnson. And 
He's probably the, the, the likely one right now. As we mentioned this morning, Ben can play centre-back, as this individual has told me. This, but, you know, he's, he's filled in for West Ham at centre-back. He's filled in at right-back, obviously, as we know. And he can play left-back as well. So it's, it's that strain that we were speaking about on this morning's rumour mill, where Leeds United are trying to execute a player who exuberates that V word, versatility. Versatility, where can he play? Whereabouts is he going to start for Leeds? And can he cover? You know, do you need to buy unique players for unique positions, or can you buy an individual who can just slot into any position along that back line? That's the interesting part of this. That's why we we're talking about Ben Godfrey this morning. That's why we've spoken about Borna Barisic before as well, because Borna can fit, can slot into that centre back space as well with his physical attributes and has done for Rangers as well in left sided capacity. So I think the the the, the way Lee to going about it is good. I'm, I'm infused by the 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 tactic of going for players who maybe just aren't unique to one position and can play in a variety of positions as well. The Ahmed Diallo thing was flagged to me the other day and I just sort of sat on it really because it, it seemed like a bit of a tenuous link. But then we've seen more rumours today about Ahmed Diallo and Leeds United if potentially William Yonto moves on. And I think this is what we're looking at right now. We're looking at dominoes falling. Uh, West Ham have a right back who is apparently about to about to leave. I think he's called Kipro or something like that. Uh, um, you guys might have in the comment section below. I'm not that familiar with West Ham United, but their right back is is potentially uh, leaving in this window. And then when you look at Ben Johnson's situation, as said person has has wanted to remain anonymous, but said person has said to me that if that does move, then Ben Johnson is likely to stay at the club. Also, Ben Johnson has been given a few minutes as well, which is what he hasn't been exposed to previously. So maybe they are getting him in the shop window here um, for potentially a summer move or potentially a January move because that would benefit West Ham because West Ham are going to get a fee. So that's the interesting part of this. It works for both clubs and they want a fee when it comes to Leeds, obviously, um, you know, with, with, a, with a permanent. But it's whether or not it begins with a loan then turns into a permanent in the summer. But that would obviously be a loan to an obligation to buy the, does that sue Ben Johnson? Do would Ben Johnson want more clubs to pick from in the summer months? That'll be interesting, but he'll be able to get minutes or, the, or this sort of stuff. This individual did tell me as well, but he's not really been the same since his injury. And I think uh, that several people have reported on that as well in the media. So it's going to be fascinating to see how this develops, everybody. And obviously, Borna Barisic on the lips of many journalists. Ben Johnson, how does he fit? Where does he fit? And as well, um, Ahmad Diallo, Borna Barisic, a few little updates there in a very quiet window when it comes to Leeds United. But as I say, guys, if you want some additional transfer content, what we try to do with the rumour mill is go, I try to use the networking that I've developed over the past five years in the media sphere and try bring to you guys maybe a little bit of insight, um, you know, uh, and, and, and listen, could be right, could be wrong, things change. And that is why it's called the rumour mill and not the confirmation mill. Uh, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. Please make sure you like the video. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with another probable live stream of the room. I hope you're enjoying the content. I hope you're enjoying all that good stuff. We've got podcasts available on the Patreon now. The next one will be out tomorrow. It's been an absolute pleasure. As always, everybody, should have it.